Roast chicken and stuffing. It's a bit heavy. There, it did. I wonder whether you'll have eight ounces in here. Eight ounces in there. Mm -hmm. oh, so it gets And it's in. Good. Yeah. Chili and the filling for cottage pie. <laughs> Just a few grains of animals in the cottage pie to thicken it a bit. And then it'll just be great. Well, that is pretty much what it is, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Mince for gravy and vegetables. Vegetables, yeah, with mash on the top. Yeah, speaking of mash, it's Right over there. It's there, it's just not matched yet. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
The eggs are in, and the mash, and the potatoes have been mashed. Yeah. Oh okay, yeah, mashed potato. With quite a lot of black pepper. <laughs> Why have you ever pe overseas in it? I might have done, we'll have to see. <laughs> right, so you put your eggs in, yeah? Have yeah. given it another blitz? Not yet. Right, you can do that next and then that butter will come off there then. Yeah. I should imagine. Yeah, let's just hope it doesn't go on high. <laughs> Baking powder. Yeah. And then. So you want six ounces. Before we would go plain. Well, we're gonna, because we do, you want chocolate or plain? Chocolate. Right, so you want six <laughs> flour, two cocoa. If you were doing plain, you just use eight flour. So we want eight ounces of floury stuff in total. So we're gonna, well, because we want chocolate, we're gonna do six and two. Six and two equal. So six ounces of that. And six. Well, I can't. It doesn't it. matter if it's a little bit over. Just imagine I get the egg in it. Yeah, I'm trying not to. <laughs> and cocoa, wherever the spoon shall be. Unless the spoon is buried. So just make that up to eight with cocoa, yeah? yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep, yeah, because, because most people, yep, yeah, she just has to top up the flour in the bag. Because if you actually keep it in a bag, you actually get little bu little, little buggy things in the flour, and you and you kind of don't want that. So keep it in a tub. Yeah. Um, Although obviously I have a big tub because I do a lot of baking, but <laughs> anybody else just needs a normal sized tub. Yeah. <clears throat> So, 
Right, so you can give that a whisk then? Yep. Yep. Not to it's a bit Shouldn't really be dipping in the leg of a tribe. the liners don't we because it's Right, so you can bang off the stuff on there. Even though I can't bang. Well, I'll take the... Bang, bang. <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this. Just to check if there's any missing flour or butter. Mm. I think oh. you get a bit stuck at the bottom. Okay, I'll just put the whisks away. <laughs>
Um, for the oven. If I put them on the top, they'll just burn. Well, what about the bottom shelf? Um, yeah, well, I've got the baked custards on there, haven't I, for the moment? God. A glass dish. Mm. My nightmare of a cupboard. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel my cupboard very well. There, now you can see the chili. <laughs> I'm going to put that on there because that's hot. Um, oh, I actually so thought you were going to put the... in there. Yeah. All right, and then you can put the mash on the top. Yeah. Actually... Oh, it's still there. One second, I need to get the stand. Why do you realise that? Oh, wait, actually, opposite, opposite. I steam up the camera, but if I don't, then be lucky. Then I'm lucky. There. I just spread it on there, and I'll just actually and I'll just spread it along. There. Now I just need mash. Just put that. I'll just put that over there. Right, so you know how to do the mash, don't you? Little blobs. Little blobs. <laughs> just sort of join it together. And then if you put too much on it, it just sinks right down to the bottom. Alright. So you've got to do it in little bits. Right. Little blobs, if I remember little blobs. Little. Straight on. Hang on. Hang on. Look, look. Alright. Oh. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> Alright, and then just oh. around the edges and then join it all up. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. You might not need all that mash, or you might. I don't know. You what if we don't need the mash? I should think. Um, you can probably use it all, I would have thought. Right, they look like they might be done to me. They, did I 
Kidaluktan. Cakes in next on the bottom shelf. Yeah, and then put the cottage pan on the top. Keep an eye on them. Just, just burn them. They're not as good at cooking cakes in here. Little smudge. Trying to get pot in here, but we've got hard going. That's it. And that little splodge in the middle. Okay. Put a bit more on now because you've got that first layer on. And doof. There you go. So have to spread it. You should be able to. Spread that over. Okay. Well yeah. done. There we go then. There. That's us done. <laughs> Ready. Thank you very much. <laughs> there we go. There. Not too much mess today. Yeah. I know I've been, I know I talked about this in the in the last video, but this is a but this main. I know I've been talking about this in the last video, uh, but but I didn't realize I can't really make it as a book since it will require quite a lot of work and money to get it as a book. So I. So if you guys really want this to become a book, then pull, then you're gonna have to subscribe and and turn notifications on and try and do whatever you want. I don't. But if you guys do want to help out, I if you guys do want to help out, then I would then I would really appreciate it. But. This is technically my own problem and I have to do it. <laughs> so if you want to... So please... Subscribe to this... Subscribe to my channel. To do, do anything. Any, and trust me. And trust me, I will try to upload as much as I can, despite how, despite how much it'll take. <laughs> so please subscribe, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video at some point.